What's up? What's up, everybody? Four weeks, baby. Four weeks. Oh, man. Mm. Today is officially four weeks since my surgery, so four weeks. Uh, can't believe it's been that much time already, but uh, these last couple days, it finally just got really better. I've been able to sleep throughout the night. Like week three, uh, week four, the nights were horrible. It seems like throughout the day I'm okay. As soon as the night comes around, it's just the worst. Like I was able to like fall asleep, but as soon as I wake back up, it's hard to go back to sleep. And I was like tossing and turning for like a few hours for multiple days in a row. I had therapy yesterday and he shared some good news with me. So I will share that with you in a little bit. But right now we got to take care of something right now. Cause as you can tell, my face, I know, I know it's long, it's long. It's itchy too, let me tell you, it's pretty itchy, so I gotta, as soon as it gets itchy, I know I gotta like shave that right away, so. We're gonna start the morning off, shave my face, I'm gonna hop in the shower just to wake myself up, and let's get the day started. Let's go guys, we're getting there baby, four weeks baby, four weeks and uh, we're getting there. Take a look at my knee right now, it's pretty good, this is the, one of the incisions right there, that was for the meniscus. And over here, not too bad. Conditioner, 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 conditioner. Originally, this is what I needed to do the first week, and it was only five exercises, and now I have all these I need to do as well. Um, as you can tell, you can see me right there. But So I got to do all of these three times out of the day, and this one right here is four times out of the day. But it takes about, takes about 50 minutes to do all of these. So let me tell you about the news I received. So my knee right here, I'm able to put 50% uh, on it now. This week I'm able to do that. And this Sunday, I'm able to ditch the crutches and no more brace. So this Sunday, I should be able to walk again. And it's just crazy. I can almost feel like I can, you know, put my, all my weight on it now. But, you know, want to take it slow, wait till Sunday. But should be able to walk this Sunday, guys. So this is how my knee looks side by side with the other one. This is a normal one. This is the deformed one. <laughs> a little bruising right there still. Again, there though. Week five should get a lot more easier for me being able to walk, not crutching everywhere. Uh, literally, the crutches are the worst thing. I hate crutching. Uh, just to like carry stuff is the worst thing as well. Like, especially to like film with my tripod is kind of sketchy. Just like moving it around on on a tripod and not being very secure. So. This Sunday, I should be able to walk again, and I'm very happy about that. I've been recovering uh, very fast. I've been doing all my exercises, haven't missed one. Just wanna let you guys know that everybody's different. Like I said before, you don't wanna compare yourself to nobody. Um, I had my ACL done, I'm a meniscus, and uh, hey, some people, you know, heal faster than others, and I'm, I'm doing that right now. Uh, I think just having a good attitude is a big part of it. Just having a good mindset about it, and just understanding, you know, you, it could be worse, and that you, you know, you're you're grateful, and just do your exercises, and that's the main thing, doing your exercises, because there's there's some times where I didn't want to do my exercises because I was so uh, worn out, but you know, I got them done. But just having a good attitude, guys. If you're going through this, if you have a, you know, something torn or broken, just have a good attitude. Be positive. And I gotta, I gotta hold my sock. See that? I see that. I could only get like right here a couple weeks ago. I'm getting a little better. Oh. It's definitely been an experience uh, that I've never experienced before. Obviously, I've broken my finger before, but this has been a lot different just because it's my leg and my movement is a lot different. You know, I can't just get up and walk to the bathroom, you know, that easy. But it's definitely gave me some time to reflect uh, about my past. Actually, I've, I've uh, reflected a lot about my past and stuff, and 
and guy just uh, being able not to walk, you know, not not to not to like uh, you know I, have, I can walk with the crutches, but not being able to like just like get up and go uh, really kind of messed with me. But I feel like as soon as I can you know do no crutches and walk again, I'm gonna be very you know very on it. My dad's been working a lot, so I've been by myself a little bit. But you know, just getting time to reflect and you know take care of myself, rest. You know, I just been main thing. I just gotta rest. You know, gotta heal up and rest. And I've been doing that. Trust me. Movement's a little better. Look at that. Fifty percent. I can put on there. Like I said, Sunday, I'll be able to put hundred percent. So right now, look at no crutches. I'm gonna have to put a little more than 50 right there, so it doesn't hurt too bad. But I feel like I still need a few more days before I give it a go, you know. Take that, take that first step, you know, I haven't done that yet. But, you know, we're getting there, guys. I did fall down these stairs, if you guys were wondering, just one time, just because I thought I was a pro, I was going way too fast. It happened on this, uh, luckily, happened on this uh, third step right here, you know, so it wasn't, you know, at the top of the stairs or anything, because I would have died if that, that were the case. Happened on the third step right here, and I just embraced it. I kind of like uh, led with my crutches, so you can imagine third step going, falling, crutches, braced me, <laughs> hurt my armpit a little bit, and my brace saved me, obviously. If I didn't have my brace, I would have been, I would have died, and it was locked, you know, I have it locked in, so I kind of just like rolled with it, you know, psh, and my elbow and my hip took the worst of it, but hey, that's how you do it. Thank God, I you know I'm airborne. I know how to fall, so just gotta roll with it. But I did, <laughs> I did fall one time. It was scared the shit out of me. Uh, I learned my lesson though. Take your time. Don't go too fast. I was going like, <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking I was a pro or something, but a little sketchy. A little sketchy. I remember my elbow happened like on the third week, but I did. I did do that. I'm healing, I'm grateful. Uh, Sunday, like I said, we could take off the brace, no crutches, so I'll be able to walk. No, cr Not to crutch everywhere, it's just like, damn, I don't have to crutch everywhere, that just like blows my mind, so I can't wait for that day. But hey, four weeks, guys, just four weeks, 28 days I've been, you know, since my surgery, and that's just like an early month, 28 days, barely a month uh, since my surgery, but I'm making a lot of progress. Anything else new for you guys? Anything else new? My hair is growing back. Man, my dad, my dad, my dad. That video was so funny of us uh, do, doing the haircut. Oh man, that guy. I forgot I forgot that he had a few drinks that night. If you were wondering why he was laughing so much, he had a few drinks that night. So I totally forgot about that. It's definitely not the smartest idea to get a haircut from a drunk guy. So that explains why he buzzed all my hair off when I asked for it too. So, <laughs> that guy. But he's been working a lot. It's been crazy uh, for him at work over there. So I kind of just been chilling, holding the fort down here. Um, like I said, I don't do much. I just do my exercises. I rest up. I heal because that's my main priority right now is my health and getting my knee back to where, you know, it was and even better. And like I said, Sunday is the day. No crutches, no brace. I'll be able to walk. No crushing everywhere. Ah, I can't wait, guys. I can't wait for that. Let's go Netflix.